Hey guys, so it's day two of getting the Calamities Hope series put together and it's just after eight o'clock so I'm sitting down on the couch. My goal tonight is to drink some hot chocolate because I've been neglecting it for the past week even though the past week has been super cold. Um, I thought it was affecting my chest pain and stuff but um, I've got my annotating thing. My sister taught me how to work it and earthquake. I already started a little bit earlier today when we I had some downtime. I was able to start proofreading a little bit of it. Um, so I started a little bit of it. I'm going to continue it. My goal tonight is just to do that until my husband comes home and get as much done as possible since we're on a crunching deadline. So I will check in with you guys when I have something to report. I'm supposed to do three chapters a day. My intention was just to edit straight till my husband came home. Um, I did chapter 10 and I'm in the middle of chapter 11. I did not realize that the earth, I guess it's not a spoiler, but I didn't realize that the earthquake starts now. I thought I had till closer to the, I don't know. I thought I had a, several more chapters left because I forgot like in wildfire, there's like 30 chapters. So it starts kind of like a little closer to chapter 20. I can't remember the exact chapter, but somewhere in there. Whereas this one only has 20 chapters, so the earthquake starts in like chapter 11. And I can't remember wildfire, so that one's probably going to surprise me. So chapter 11 is like a really long chapter, and I still have to do chapter 12, which may also be a long chapter as well. So I've got, I'm right where the, this is, is where I'm editing. Um, and I've got that much left to go in chapter 11, and then I still have chapter 12, which, uh, chapter 12, oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. Okay, I lost track of chapter 12. Here, I did it again. My hands are so cold and slippery. Okay, that's chapter 14, so somewhere in here is chapter 13. Um, okay, this is chapter 12. So 145 to 160, that's like 20 pages. And I'm on 136, so I've got 160 minus 136, that's like what, 30 pages-ish to go, and I'm falling asleep. I'm literally not doing any favors. So I'm gonna get up, walk around, wake myself up, get back into it. It still ate something, so yeah, it's 9.21, I'm lied, it's not 8 something. So it's been an hour already, so I'm hoping I can get both of these done pretty quickly so, so I can like relax tonight. I'm so tired, so I need to get up, walk around, take a break, and get back into it. This is kind of the key when you're doing editing or writing sprints. When you need a break, take a five minute break and then get back into it, as opposed to how I normally do things where I just do it straight but I'm so tired, I'm literally not able to, my brain is not working and I can't edit. So in order for me to get my quota for the day, I'm gonna have to take a break and force myself back into this. So I'm gonna take my break, get back into it, and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, still day two, the Clammy's Hope series fixing stuff. So I gotta get comfortable. So I took my break, sorry. I took my break, put my laundry in, um, walked around. I was looking for a jacket because my hoodie, I needed to wash it. So my jacket's in there with the rest of my clothes, which means I don't have my hoodie to keep me warm. So, or to keep my arms warm because this isn't like a long sleeve like all the way. So, um, so yeah, I am curling back up and I gotta email myself because I had another idea. I've been thinking of marketing for the Valiant series because the other thing that I'm supposed to be doing is coming up with posts and like Instagram posts and short reels and video ideas and stuff, basically social media content marketing for the Calamity's Hope series for Wildfire's release and for the Valiant series rebranding because while I'm um, supposed to be proofreading these, I don't wanna neglect um, marketing like I tend to do, especially when I write. I really disappear into my worlds when I write. So um, as I've been thinking of ideas, I write them down. As I think of a post idea, I'll maybe work on Canva on my phone. So I've been doing that throughout the day. This is starting to get a little cold. Um, so I have another idea I need to talk to, email to myself, not talk to myself about. I'm crazy, but I need to get back in this and at least do three a day. Um, if not more, 
um, to just binge because now that I've started the earthquake, usually if I start the disaster, like in wildfire, I kind of like it didn't take me too long after that. So, cause it's like, you want to do the disaster really quickly and wildfire. I had a lot of like wildfire issues. So it took me a little bit to fix those. So I'm hoping the earthquake won't have any big picture stuff to do because the earthquake, the scenarios, I was able to work on them a lot smoother. Like it went very smooth, but anyways, we'll see. I'm going to get back to work. I'm in the middle of chapter 11 still. I got to get through 11 and then through 12. So I got to get to 160 something. So, and I'm still on 130. Six. So anyways, I'll get to work and I'll check in with you guys later. <sighs> that was hard. So there's not any like big picture stuff in this earthquake, but there's a lot of sentence structure. Like my 2020 writing was just so bad. And here I am. I've, I've been writing since I was 10 years old and I'm complaining about my writing from four years ago. I can't imagine looking at anything past before 2020 since I'm barely <laughs> getting through something I wrote in 2020. Like not all my writing was bad, but in my, like I was doing the million word challenge. So I was just rushing to get to my word count every day, which also meant some of my sentences were really wordy. And so some of the books that I wrote in that time during that year in 2020 needed to be, needs to be like edited because of that. Um, more edited than I did when I released it. I kind of like didn't put forth a lot of effort because at the time my brain was only focused on the Valiant series and I had a one track mind. So I was like, Oh, it's not the Valiant series. It's not important. And now I have grown as an author, as an editor. Um, and this is my career. It has become and feels more like a job and a career. And therefore I know how much effort I need to put forth into every book and not just put all my eggs in one basket in the Valiant series. Every book needs to be given the same attention. And I don't know why I didn't have that mindset before, but now that I do, as you can see, I'm putting forth a lot of effort into there. So given the wording and some of my descriptions needed to be better on what was going on, there was a lot of um, sentence issues. And so a lot of these pages had like 40, one had 40, this page, has 40 mistakes in it. So I don't know if you can see all the red, but these two pages have 40 mistakes in it and it gets worse. Um, this page, a couple pages later, we're dealing with, we had one that had 16. I think that was like the lesser amount. These two pages had 44 mistakes in them. Don't know if you can see them. I don't want to spoil the story. So, um, but yeah, I think 16 was like the, the, oh, we have a 14. We have a couple pages that had 14 p mistakes, but I never got anything lower than 10. Oh, there's 12. We had 12. So there's just a lot of sentence structure stuff. I mean, which is kind of easy, but it's just really long. There's just a lot there, but I am on chapter 13 out of 20. I believe, let me go to the end here because skipping to the end is not going to spoil it for me because I wrote the darn thing. <laughs> um, yeah, there's 20 chapters. Um, so <sighs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's eight chapters left. I don't know why that's eight because 13 to 20 is seven, but whatever. So, um, it leaves me eight chapters left. So three, six, and if I can do five on one day, then that should leave me the next two or three days to get earthquake done. That's my goal. Um, and I may do some more tonight to kind of alleviate. If I can do two more tonight, then that other day, I won't have to do five chapters. So it'll just be three tomorrow and three the day after that. So I can finish this over the weekend and start volcano. Um, so yeah, I am done for now. I'm so tired. <sighs> I look like a freak, but I just, I'm so tired. I didn't even finish all of my hot chocolate. I'm just, my hands are freezing cold. I wish you guys could feel what I'm feeling right now. I'm just so tired. My hands are cold. I'm done. I'm ready for a break. I will check in with you guys way later. So I'm done. Good night. Well, technically not good night because I'm not going to bed yet, but I also wanted to point out that it's 11 o'clock. So yeah, that's how long it took me to do these two chapters. The rest of chapter... 11 and all of chapter 12 because the last time I vlogged it was what like nine so it's been two hours ago has it really 
Has it really? Let me look at the time again. That is crazy. Yep, it's 11. So my husband should be getting off here soon and it's dinner time, which is great because I'm starving. So yeah, anyways, check in with you guys later. Um, so hot cocoa, it's been sitting out for two hours in the cold. Ugh. Okay, for real now. I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm in a different part of my house. Um, I thought I would feature my swords that me and my husband collect. Um, no, I'm actually, I'm just sitting on the couch on the other side waiting for my dog to come in so that I can get back to editing. So it's like 2.38, it's 2.40, it's about 2.40. And my husband and I are addicted to the show called um, Fire Country. And... I love this show, you guys. I am so addicted to it. We watched three episodes tonight when normally we watch two, so I'm a little late, but I'm revitalized and ready to go. I'm thinking I probably only have time for one more chapter in Earthquake, but we'll see what happens. And I keep telling my husband, like, <laughs> I wish I had seen this show before I wrote Wildfire, because I remember in Wildfire when I was coming up with the outline and coming up with, like, the fire scenarios, I did, I, like, struggled to come up with certain scenarios for it. <laughs> like, this show, every episode, there's just something brand new with fires and I'm just like this is so creative and it's kind of got me in that disaster kind of mood um so it's kind of revitalizing my energy for the Calamity's Hope series so if you guys haven't watched uh Fire Country I would check it out it's actually a pretty clean show so I would actually highly recommend it so so good I'm gonna have to do a review on it sometime but anyways I gotta get my dog and then get back to editing Earthquake See if I can get chapter 13 done, I think is the one I left off on. So we're going to see if I can get that done and I'll check in with you guys later. And in the meantime, enjoy the swords. I think my pen just went out. Yep, my pen's out. I'm going to have to get up and get another red pen. Well, and I'm on to my last few yellow pieces of... T Actually, yeah, that's my last one. So this, this page will be my last yellow piece and I'll have to move on to a different shade with some of these new ones. But the good news is that means I can take these off and finally clip this onto my book, which I will show you guys because it's pretty dang cool. But I'm off to go get a new red pen and throw this one away. I have a confession to make though. I'm a pen hoarder. I don't just hoard pens that I buy. I literally don't like throwing them away. I don't know why. It's like I think they're miraculously just going to start working again one day and I just, I hoard them so bad. But you guys don't need to hear about my problem. I'm going to go get another red pen now. Okay, let me get rid of my charger cord for just a second. Okay, so I'm taking time away from editing to show you guys. Because um, this is a lot harder to do with one hand. But, so, you take this part off. Hard to do with one hand because it's magnetic. I put the okay that's gonna fall so to close the book okay now we're on to something okay so since I was using yellow I'm out of yellow I'm gonna use that yellow hopefully it'll last me till the end of the book um so you do that and then okay I have to put that down for just a second okay and then you gotta get it even oh this is gonna be hard to do with one hand and film Basically, you do it like that, but I've got to even it out. There, I've evened it out. So now I can just open it and then f go grab the yellow one that I need when I need to put the tabs on here. So, anyways, I got work to finish. I'm on chapter 14, so I did it. I did chapter 13. Um, there's just one problem these are transparent. So I did use it for the current chapter I was doing. Um, let's see, this page didn't have any. So I used it here. You cannot see what I wrote, so I wrote it next to it and then sent a little line. But I do like the carrier for it, so eventually I want to figure out how to put my own sticky notes in there, but I'll still be using these transparent ones. I just may mark down the number on the actual page and just use the trend the sticky note itself to kind of alert me where the the edits are and hopefully I can see them 
Where is it? I think my... Is this it? Oh, no, 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 nope. I think my thing's blocking it. Yeah, I can see it right there. Sorry about that. I can see it right there. So hopefully I can see them easily. Um, but yeah, we will see. Anyways, that's it for that's it for day two. I will check in with you guys next time. So I'm on chapter 14, which leaves me 14 through 20. So that's seven left, which is much better, much more doable.